What's up? I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. The Apple iPad is the 800-pound gorilla whenever it comes to tablets, but there are plenty of challengers vying for the tablet crown. Samsung happens to be one of Apple's biggest competitors with its Galaxy line of products, and the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition promises to be the best one yet. So how well did it do? We kicked the tires and looked under the hood for the review of this year's model. The 2014 edition that we reviewed was powered by two quad-core processors, one running at 1.9 GHz and one running at 1.3 GHz. It came with 3 GB of RAM and packed 32 GB of storage. It also displayed content on a 10.1-inch WQXGA TFT LCD screen with a native resolution of 2560 by 1600 The device also packed an S Pen stylus, rear-facing 8-megapixel camera and front-facing 2-megapixel camera, as well as GPS and GLONASS support and an IR controller. One of the big things we were concerned about was the performance of the tablet. Of course, you want a device that can run all the apps that you have with minimal to no slowdown whatsoever. You also want a device that has plenty of power so you don't feel the need to instantly upgrade and shell out another couple hundred bucks in only a few short months. Fortunately, the 2014 edition of the Note 10.1 was fantastic in the performance arena. In fact, we could easily say that this was the best performing Android tablet we've come across, thanks to the eight processing cores available to the device. Apps loaded quickly with virtually no slowdown, while transitions in and between apps were excellent. It may seem strange to talk about eight core processors for tablets, but it's really something special to see when you start running apps on this device. Another standout was the screen of the 2014 edition, which could arguably be one of the best features of the tablet. The screen produced rich colors, bright images, and incredibly deep black tones with video and still shots. HD movies really stood out on this device and really made entertainment engaging because of the screen resolution. Simply put, apps and games look incredible on the Note 10.1, which just makes you want to use the tablet more and more. We were also struck by the Watch On app and the infrared controller with the 2014 tablet. The Watch On app effectively works with the IR blaster embedded in the tablet to turn the Note into an extremely good universal remote. Setting it up and controlling local over-the-air broadcast channels was simple to do, and getting a sense of upcoming programming was accurate as well. The only issue we could see is that it didn't include some of the popular streaming options around, like Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant, or Netflix. Overall, however, we found plenty of uses for this device. We could spend hours drawing or sketching out ideas with the Notebook app thanks to the sensitivity of the S Pen. We could write out our work by hand, convert it to a PDF, and print it in a matter of seconds, which was excellent in handling contracts or other documents. Whether it was using some of the specific features of the Note, like running two apps on screen at once, or simply playing the latest games, the Note was excellent. Not everything was perfect with the 2014 edition, though. For one thing, while we really loved the visuals of the device, we didn't really like the audio of the tablet, which was underwhelming. It had little to no bass or low end, while highs were too sharp and came close to being tinny. We didn't expect much because tablet speakers aren't usually impressive when it comes to tablet hardware, but these were extremely weak, especially compared to its competition. Another issue that cropped up was the battery life of the device. We found that the Note typically pulled down around 6 hours of battery life on a full charge. Now compared to some other Android devices, that isn't too bad, but next to iPads, it's definitely lacking. Then again, considering that it's powering an extremely sharp HD screen and 8 cores, there's only so much that you can expect out of this battery, so take that limited life complaint with a grain of salt. The last issue that came up was the price of the tablet. Frequently when you look at prices of Android devices, they're inexpensive, especially when you compare them to iPads. Not so much with the Note 2014 edition. The 16GB version is $549, while the 32GB version is $50 bucks more, making them very pricey. This could be a definite constraint for users thinking about picking up one of the tablets, but then again, you're also paying for some pretty notable hardware. You may want to consider whether that price is a hindrance for your powerful tablet needs. We were very impressed by the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. The device was incredibly powerful when it came to running apps and multitasking, it came with a visually striking screen, and it's one of the most feature-rich slates that we've ever seen. 
while the audio presentation should have been stronger, especially given the amount that you spend on the tablet, and the battery life is relatively weak, this is still a high-performance tablet that can easily give the Apple iPad or iPad Air a run for its money. For these reasons, we decided to give the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, be sure to check out the link below. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.